He's just saying sure, but with like a funny voice. I guess. That's what it's trying to convey. This is an interesting map pick for Honey Bear. Shout out to Tony Cheese for being my best fucking friend in the world. <laughs> anyway, bottom left. I'm trying to be sports. Our Zerg player Honey Bear loves to attack into big tank lines with units. And it is Avilo on the bottom right who makes big tank lines <laughs> for Honey Bear to attack into. <laughs> Easy fucking macro action in these TVZ series in this TVZ series. I mean we saw like a one base push in game two. But uh game number one and three split map scenarios. Seems like it's you know, the style that Avilo favors. Maybe Honey Bear's gonna work to avoid that situation this game. Interested to see how it all plays out in the dynamic of a best of five series here. Fifty dollar prize on the line. So hope you enjoy it. Certainly been an exciting night so far. New Kirk City. Avila is scouting with this yeah. SCV, but not correcting it. Yeah, it, to not account for the pathing bug. Notable about oh, you're you're choking on a robot dick over there on your Skype. Uh, whoops. Not anymore. Somehow you initiated a gag reflex. Either way, we have this awkward little location in the center that makes... So you think like, okay, I, I rally a scout to my opponent's base. You think it will go like the under and then through there and into the natural? But it goes it goes around the top. And I've seen people like lose armies from that. It can be crazy. It's non-intuitive. And uh, I'd be interested to see if they change it. Avilo is doing a nice little engineering bay block here behind his racks. It looks like he's gearing up for one rack's expense, similar to last. Curious to know if he like, cuts the depot for a third CC again. I guess it worked out in the end, but that was a, an interesting selection. They're on Acalon Waste. So, gas this time from Honey Bear. And, of course, no CC. There's a big fat engineering bay. Shitting all over that location. Is a villa gonna try and hold the low ground? This is pretty decent scouting information he's got here. The overlord's flying in though for Honey Bear. Uh, Villa get to it. To work. The GLHF. And. Oh no, cancel! Oh wow. You know what? That might have been like uh, that might have been a strategy from Honey Bear to try and make him type back when the engineering bay was about to die. Yeah, I definitely think it was. Yeah, that's actually. I so mean, sick. it's it's Honey Bear we're dealing with after all. And this guy knows how to eco out advantages. He lost his overlord though, and with his other one just starting, kind of. Yeah, but it was worth it because he saw the gas, didn't he? Uh, no, he didn't. He oh. didn't. Wow. Uh oh. Yeah, that's rough for him. But he made a roach horn. I mean, what else is there to do when you're honey bear? But make big scary roaches. He loves that shit, man. He's made a roach horn every game. I see a lot of Zergs going roach based here. Uh Battle Hellion really in the mid game. You can just straight up die to armies that have them in the composition. If you're going Ling based and they hit before whatever subsequent tech you had in mind. Like if you're going Ling Muta, you're going Ling Infester, like Ling Swarm Host. You hit that timing slightly early as the Terran player. Uh, transform in a few of your Battle Hellions and uh, any anything Ling based is just going to look silly. And I think that's caused a lot of Zerg players to adopt the Roach centric mid game. This SCV makes it through the Queen, spots the five Roaches popping. Great information there for Avilo. He He's actually bunkering the high ground. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to use the frontal bunker as, as a bit of a buffer. He's just got to make sure that he backs out in time to uh, raise the wall and get in. Okay, he moved his uh, he moved his marines to his main, but then he dropped the mule at his natural. That's, like a, that, that's awkward. Because, I mean, he's obviously intending to sack the low ground. 
And he's throwing down a mule that might not be quite expired by the time the roaches get there. Might just be kind of frantically trying to respond to this initial pressure. And the roach is taking the long way around. Uh, Honey Bear might not have played this map before, might not know about the pallium bug. Well, he picked it. And they... I mean... There's... Yeah, but the pallium bug might be yeah. recent, like, due to the most recent patch. Okay, so he does lose the two SCVs and that mule on the low ground. Uh, he knows he's not going to make it up into the main, though. Two Widow Mines popping out of that reactor. And two port is the follow-up from Avilo. So, flying back to the high ground because he knows he has the sick tech advantage swinging in his favor. Uh, with the layer on the way, mobile detection should be accessible. Oh, he made two layers! Okay, he cancelled it. Uh, with the layer on the way, rather, as I was saying, there will be some mobile detection here for a Zerg player. And also note that in Heart of the Swarm here, you do not need the Evo Chamber uh, for your spore crawlers. Eric's flying across the center, just to spot out exactly what's up from the Zerg player. There's a Spire in production. It's going to be a, a while before he's able to see it, though. Yeah, and Avila going for two-port Banshee in response to being contained on one base, but Honey Bear is going for Spire, so this is really good for him. He's just going to have a nice build order advantage as long as he doesn't get fucked up by Cloak, but he's going to see the Banshees as they chase the Roaches away, and... Uh, even if he loses all these roaches, this is definitely worth it because now he knows to build spores. And he's going to pick off Widow Mines with these guys. No, he's going to get trapped by them. He's losing all these roaches. Avila does a sick maneuver, uh, pressuring with the Banshee, and Honey Bear makes the mistake of attacking the CC when, I mean, there's no way he's going to kill the CC before. Maybe he's trying to bait the Unburrow, but uh, he, he tried to focus down. One of those Widow Mines there, the other three just ran behind, burrowed at the ramp. And Avila chased it away. It was, it was really well played there, and uh, I think I think Honey Bear is at a, quite a bit of a deficit now at this point. Unless his Mutas can do a lot of damage. You know, he's kind of prepped to actually. If you look at the armory timing, there's not going to be a Thor out to deal with this. I think his best bet is our Widow Mines uh, with the two port with Tech Labs. It's almost a direct counter. I don't know why I was talking about. Avila being at an advantage after that. This is sketchy, man. His Banshees are going to get picked off. Yeah. I'm surprised he's just stopped with six Mutas, but he is going into Roach from here. You know, if, if he can... Like, he knows it's mostly Widow Mines, right? So if he can force the Widow Mines to get spread out, there's going to be nothing at the front. Uh, Avila throwing down turrets. But, like, he, he's not making anything out of his starports. He's making just widow mines out of the reactor factory. Uh, th this is so tough for him. If I were him, I would have tried to like, th you know how QXC was hiding marines against a bomb earlier on the side, and then yeah. waiting for a bomb to move out. I, if I were a villa, I would have kind of done, tried to do that with banshees in that situation. I guess his 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 barracks just missed the spire. Just missed going behind the mineral line. Complete. So that's why he wasn't aware of it. It's quite unfortunate for him. This front though is going to be really tough to hold. There's just the one bunker and it's being immediately focused by roaches. Milo pulling for the repair but that goes down. Yeah, I think Honey Bear has this here. I don't see how Avilo can hold. The splash from the Widow Mine actually just took out like four of his own SCVs. Yeah, it took out the Overseer though. That's true. And there are, there, there's one Widow Mine at the top of the ramp. Uh, the, the other two are untriggered, but at the natural. There are enough SCVs here that getting us around on some of these roaches might help, but the overall roach count, if they fight together, is, is going to be easily able to tear apart whatever pops out of these production structures and eliminate the worker count. You, you can see already the Villo at half the supply of his Zerg opponent. Uh, yeah. These roaches are completely overwhelming at this stage. Yeah, I think Honey Bear has forced the game 5 here. Yeah, there are pretty much no SCVs left. Oh, there are 5, man. 5 SCVs. There are Widow Mines all around the outside preparing for, for the Mutas. And I think that's exactly 
the right way for Honeybear to play it out. Use the threat of Mutilus to spread the defenses of Avilo. And then power through the front after identifying that as a weak spot. Five Widow Mines actually around this map, or er, this ramp. I think Avilo is going to try and hold out here. Uh, his Rax does know that there is a third over here. He's producing a single Marine out. There's a Queen here that's just going to slap that in the face though. Can he focus the drone? Indeed not. No, the drone has plus one carapace. Oh wow, sick widow mine. So yeah, this is pretty rough. I mean, even Honey Bear recognizing. Um, one of Avil's few SCVs is actually repairing this refinery instead of mining from it. Uh, looking at the worker count. As you can see, 66 for our Zerg player. He's in a great position here. Starting double upgrades like 2 2, getting Mutas out, learning down the macro hatch. Everything safe and sound. Infe uh, infestation pit as well. Yeah, Honey Bear says, Did you see Spire? No, he did not. So, quite unfortunate for Villo in that regard. Pretty direct counter to that 2 port. But in the uh, top left, there is a base going up that maybe some Banshees can get to work on. I mean, if, if a villa's staying in this game, he's 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 got to get active. He's got to do something. He doesn't have the type of advantage that could just let him sit here uh, on two bases and be okay. He doesn't have an upgrade lead. He doesn't have uh, overwhelming tech. This is it, like it would definitely take a miracle for him to win. Miracle involving something going wrong with the health or internet connection of Honey Bear. I guess the Banshees can gonna hold off these roaches, but losing just a few more workers is something that Avilo cannot afford to have happen. In swoop the Mutalisks after the roaches tank the majority of the Widow Mines. Nice repair on the turret, but it's not gonna be enough here. All the units are gone except these five Widow Mines. Oh shit! Those actually killed all the Mutas with the turret. That was sick focus fire. Maybe he's just sticking in here for fun. And Avila leaves the game. 